In this vid, we'll be going through replacing drums on a heavy metal track. Let's first listen to the loop that we're going to be working with. As you can hear with that loop, the kick and the snare need a bit of reinforcement. In this example, we're going to use Addictive Trigger. We'll look at what samples are available in the library. We'll just navigate through there. They're all going to be named in such a way that identifies the sound to you somewhat. And obviously you can solo them, audition them, and hear what you've got. So for the kick drum, we'll use this click attack sample we have here. Uh, a punchy attack like that allows the drums to cut through a lot more, certainly in these heavy, fast-paced metal tracks. We've got to ensure that we've got a proper threshold setting on these trigger devices. All devices have something like that. You might see it called sensitivity or detail. It basically determines when the peak of the hit is going to activate the sample. We want to make sure we're not picking up any unwanted hits and getting any missed triggers there. Now that the kick's done, we'll have a look at the snare. We're going to use Addictive again. Another important thing when replacing drums on especially heavy metal is to have the track you're working on soloed. It's especially important with metal because of the precision requirements and you need a lot of clarity and separation between all the elements of the song. I think we'll try the dry metal. That sample has a vibe a bit like early Fear Factory, so that's something that's very good. We've got some fast metal here. Again, when setting the threshold, you want to make sure you don't get any spill. It's especially important for this snare because you could get more spill from the toms and things like that. A tom hit can certainly miss trigger and you're getting extra snares where you don't need them. Okay, let's put the kick and the snare in with the rest of the kit and see what we've got. So that's heavy metal replacement. We'll also look into compression and EQ following this because they're very important. We need to make sure that those drums sound huge and really punch through the track. 